Hey guys, welcome back to Geography Revision Classes. I am Sip Sankar Hazra with you. Today we will discuss the forest of Odisha. So, by keeping in mind the coming thrilling for the OPSC 2019, which is going to be held in 2020, this year itself. So, some of the important facts we will discuss in OMS or some other exam I actually I have forward that one question was asked like which kind of forest is found in Chandaka region of Khortha so Chandaka century that is the elephant century which forest is found so you might be asked to which kind of forest is found in North Odisha, South Odisha, Eastern part, Western part central part, coastal part, etc. They might ask you. So, I have collected some data and put over here. The forest area of Odisha is 39.31. This is the latest data. Which is 61,204.17 square kilometer of the total area of Odisha. Okay. Kandhamal having the highest forest. That is 65% of the total area of the district followed by Devgad Bauth that is 50 percent 50 percent means what total state oh sorry total area of the district least forest cover is Bhadrak Bhadrak is having least forest cover this three is enough okay which state or oh sorry which district is having the highest forest cover and which one is having the least forest cover that is important then Kendrapada is having the highest mangrove. The bamboo forest is decreased in Odisha. The total forest area is increased. Okay. So these are the some data. Now we will discuss. Before that I have discussed the forest areas of India. The forest report 29 in that has already been discussed. You can watch in the early videos. So next is Odisha is having highest open forest area followed by moderate than dense. So what exactly dense forest? Dense forest means canopy is more than 70%. Canopy is more than 70%. If the canopy is more than 70% that would be dense forest. If 40 to 70 percent canopy that means it would be moderate this is 10 to 40 percent is open forest okay so in Odisha highest is open forest followed by moderate forest then dense forest so what is canopy in the last class I also did discussed canopy means suppose more than one hectare okay so this is suppose the one hectare area and the plant okay the plant the total plant there this is their what crown if crown of the forest if the crown of the forest covers 70 percent or covers Suppose 70 percent. These are the areas which is covered with the forest. Suppose these are the areas which is covered of the forest. That means the top portion. That means this region of the land is covered with the canopy of forest. This is, suppose this is the 70 percent. This area is the 70 percent of the land. So this or more than this it would be known as the what? dense forest canopy is means what forest that is the forest crown total forest crowns they comes together and the open part the open part of the land if covered through the canopy 70 percent that would be dense forest 40 to 70 it would be moderate 10 to 40 would be the open forest and if non-forest area means what if any of this category is not fitted that would be the non-forest area okay so Odisha is having least that means dense forest 
moderate highest open is least oh sorry open is highest moderate is second dense is the least like india as well in india dense forest is least followed by moderate then open is the highest forest likewise in odisha now next question comes to what factors or what are the determinant factor which determine the forest or the for the growth of forest the determinant factor for the growth of forest is what rainfall temperature and soil this is the three important uh, what determinant factor which is required for the growth of forest rainfall temperature and soil this three is the important factor for the growth of soil sorry for the growth of forest now if somebody ask you okay, suppose odisha is having which kind of climate odisha is having which kind of climate so climates what is the indicator of climate the indicator of the climate is what natural vegetation okay now this might be a questions in prelim what is the indicator of the climate of any region that is the forest so if the forest that means the xerophytic plants is like dates uh, that is sijo etc and the thorny forest that would be what a desert kind of climate so like that odisha is having which kind of climate this is the tropical climate because of the tropical vegetations are found out here okay so that means the factor requires for the growth of forest is rainfall temperature and soil okay next comes to the types of forest in found in odisha now what what i believe the types of forest if you wants to identify the types types of forest of any region whether it would be odisha india or etc any region that means what you have to find out rainfall of that region temperature of the region soil of that region if you have command over these three points you will definitely identify the what would be the forest of that region or which kind of forest would be grown easily that would be easily identified no problem so fast exactly what happens some areas or the some geographical areas you might have not available of data data might not be available so what we have to apply we have to apply that rainfall if we have rainfall data temperature data soil data we can put it together to find out the what kind of the forest would be found okay so i usually use such kind of tricks to identify the forest of any region so i will put over here okay types of forest for the types of forest what suppose i will first write the types of forest uh, which types of forest are found in odisha okay then i will comes to the condition types of forest odisha is having first is mangrove forest second odisha is having semi evergreen forest odisha is having moist deciduous forest odisha is having dry deciduous forest odisha is having thorny thorny forest so these are the forest okay which found in odisha mangrove moist sorry semi evergreen moist deciduous dry deciduous thorny so if they ask you which is the largest forest of india this is what dry deciduous dry deciduous is the largest forest of odisha that means deciduous forest is the largest forest of odisha like india in india the deciduous forest is the largest forest of india so among more, among deciduous it would be what dry deciduous now comes to the evergreen semi evergreen is 200 cm rainfall 200 to 250 cm of rainfall is required okay moist deciduous this would be 100 to 200 then dry deciduous 70 to 100 what centimeters all other centimeters and thorny is 30 to 50 this is mangrove is required some different condition like what brackish water okay 
then what delta ik region this is the then tropic it should be tropic tropical region etc mangrove can be a separate topic so i am not going in deep in mangrove so okay that means what semi evergreen temperature is required 200 cm on an average you require 200 cm moist density is 100 to 200 oh, sorry ha huh, okay moist density is then dry density is 70 to 100 thaw is 30 to 50 cm rainfall it might be 60 that number might be changed so don't worry it would be 10 or 5 would be changed not much very so this is the what rainfall required then temperature but temperature is not a factor for india because in odisha average temperature is 27 to 29 degrees celsius this is the average temperature of odisha okay so throughout the year so further this or like this forest minimum temperature required for the growth of what moist deciduous deciduous exactly they required on an average 25 cm or uh, celsius 25 degrees celsius temperature is required for the growth of forest so that means odisha is quite above okay 20 or 25 so temperature is not a determinant factor of odisha because odisha is coming under the tropic region so we will discuss we will put this data okay this rainfall data odisha all around odisha temperature is more than 27 hence we would not discuss the temperature as a determinant factor now we will put only rainfall to identify the forest let's identify the forest which region this mangrove this is what eastern ghat the eastern ghat is running like this okay the eastern ghat this is the mountain region of odisha that means malkangiri koraput kandhmal uh, then Uh, that means kyon ucha this side of uh, katak region anugul region this are the both region so this would be what mountain region now this eastern ghat now trick is what in eastern ghat you have to find what moist deciduous okay eastern ghat in eastern ghat that means the region from where eastern ghat passes like your what this side is malkangiri koraput kandhmal kalahandi nayagarh then it would be what uh that is anugul that next it would be kyonchar balashor mayurbhanj so these are the districts through which eastern ghat passes and this region we have moist deciduous forest because the mountain region experiences more rainfall hence this region would be moist deciduous on an average 200 or 100 to 200 that is northern part of odisha now northern part of the eastern ghats northern part of odisha is semi evergreen and this part now southern part and northern part southern and northern part of eastern ghat is having semi evergreen forest why because of more rainfall more rainfall because of the high mountains these two region of odisha is having high mountains koraput malkangiri kandhmal this side kya ucha and what mayurbhanj this side sundargarh is having the highest mountain region the middle part of the odisha they are not the highest mountain region because of the presence of rivers which bisecting the mountains into different parts okay so hence semi evergreen found this region and this region and the middle part is having moist moist deciduous forest okay that means the moist deciduous forest found up to this area okay the eastern part of the eastern ghat eastern part of the eastern ghat like your western part of the kotak then your chandaga forest then all this region anugul all this region it would be khordha 
the forest coming they are the moist deciduous they are not dry deciduous okay then it would be uh, nearby districts all about katak district western part of the katak districts they are the moist deciduous now this part of odisha this part of odisha like your what both the navarangpur here is navarangpur Sunapur, etc. This region, the western part of Odisha, this is thorny, thorny forest. This central part of Odisha, central part of Odisha is dry deciduous. Central part of Odisha is dry deciduous. The coastal is mangrove. This region is what mangrove. Like Kendra Padaka Drak. So this is Kendra, but is having the highest mangrove because of the what? Mahanadi Delta region. That means Kanjabi is also having mangrove. So these are the mangroves. So moist, this is dry deciduous, this is thorny, this is what? Moist, this is semi evergreen, this is uh, your mangrove region. So all the forest is discussed. So now what you have to find, you have to decide. Now why I am putting like this? Now dry deciduous because the western part of the eastern ghat the western part of the eastern ghat will have like what western part of the korapur like korapur's western part like navarangpur korapur korapur's what not eastern part of the korapur western part of the korapur and kandamal they are the drought region of odisha because they are the leeward side of the eastern ghat as they are coming this area is leeward side of the eastern ghat hence when monsoon comes this area will experience less rainfalls so it will obviously it will have dry deciduous and thorny forest. Thorny forest is the very less amount of thorny forest from the Lorisa. So that is not a fact. So that is why I have written very less around. Dry deciduous, this is a moist deciduous. This, this is the semi evergreen, semi evergreen, thorny, for, uh, thorny forest and mangrove. So this is all the forest of Odisha is discussed. Okay. Thank you all for watching this.